Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for a gauntlet update video. That's right. I got my gauntlets. I got some stuff. I'm going to show you some of the things that I do. So let's get it started. All right. So I did a video a few weeks back where I was talking about these uh, gauntlets that I'm doing from MakerBake 3D. And uh, yeah, they're, they're coming out good. I uh, wanted to show you some of the uh, the hardware right here. So, like I said, this actually screws down right there. Uh, I do need to do some modifications to the screws um, because the ones I have are, are a tad too long. So, uh, on this particular section, it's not bad because it has this deep well here. But on this section, yeah, where this piece mounts... I actually, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot to play with. So I need to cut down three screws to, to get this part uh, actually mounted. And I also need to cut down some screws to uh, get this mounted. But one of the things that I really wanted to talk about when it comes to this, uh, <clears throat> this particular video is not only the cool factor that you can actually you know, screw these pieces on so you don't have to glue them. But I actually have some holes right here. Uh, these are drain holes because I actually hollowed these pieces out and got drain holes there. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fill those up. There's another uh, piece of this that I'm gonna do. Uh, some other stuff, but uh, yeah, that's that's sort of the purpose of this video. Uh, a product that actually uh, I reached out to this company. I I just stumbled across it, and this is this has me really interested. Uh, Incredifil. Uh, this is actually uh, Monocure 3D. They're based out of Australia, so I ordered some of this, and uh, this is cool because when you come to like filling holes and, and imperfections, you know, normally you use like, you know, Bondo and, you know, things like that. This is actually a filler paste that is UV cured. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. And then I'm also going to show you some other stuff that I do with resin when it comes to this as well. But the main focus of this is this mono cure, uh, this uh, in incredible feel right there. So this is this is pretty cool. Uh, so what we're gonna do? I've got my UV light right here, and you got to be careful with your UV light, especially when you're around anything resin. You know, you don't want to cure everything. So uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let me get. I'm gonna pull the camera down and let you guys see this up close. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. All right, got the uh, got the incredible feel here. I got the piece that I'm gonna do some testing on. Uh, this particular piece, I've not done a final sand on it yet, so uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. I can fill these holes with uh, liquid resin, and it's really really easy. You just sort of plug the hole, then put liquid resin over it, cure it. But I wanted to try this uh, this incredible feel. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I've already opened this up because I was really curious, but here's what it actually looks like. It's just a, it's just a paste. That's all it is. Uh, I'm not going to be too greedy with it, but, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what we can come up with here. Use this. It's on the lid. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do an actual layer to get the actual hole started. And supposedly this stuff uh, sands real easy too. So I'm gonna plop some in that hole right there. Like I said, I'm just gonna try to smooth this out as much as I can. Get that in there. All right. So I'm gonna take 
this lid actually put it back on it because I don't want any chance of the UV light actually hitting this. <clears throat> Flop this off on my thumb. So as you can see right there, we got the hole. Uh, we got a nice little layer on there. So let's flip on the old UV light. Let's give it a cure. And it's relatively instant. So boom. Turn that off. That actually cured on my silicone mat. Wow, that is legit. That is dried. That is legit dried. Let me grab a let me grab a little sanding brush here. Or uh <clears throat> not a sanding brush, a sanding stick. Let's check this out. It's definitely dry. Wow, that sounds great. I'm, I'm impressed so far. I'm very impressed. That is doing a great job. I mean, to be able to um, put that on there and sand it off that easy... It's not perfect, but the holes are the holes are almost full. But this is this is some cool stuff right here. I don't necessarily know. Um, like I said, it, it comes in a relatively small the small container, uh, and buying it all the way from Australia. Uh, yeah, it definitely uh, it definitely would be. I don't know if I'd use it on a full you know, helmet, but I do have some spots on my gauntlets that I'm going to use it on. So, uh, all right, we're going to, we're going to do some more. Now that I got the, uh, the main holes filled, we can really put a little coat on there. Nice. And I want you to like really seriously uh, pay attention right here because we've got it on there. We got the UV light on, right? All right, here we go. We're gonna do maybe maybe ten seconds, you know, maybe. So here we go. Boom. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, dee -dee 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 -dee. 10 seconds. Perfectly dry to the touch. And sandable. Wow. I'll definitely put links to this stuff uh, in the video, but that is, that is legit. That is legit cool. I can't believe I've not heard about this stuff, uh, or I haven't anyway. Got a little bit of overhang right there. Check that out. I mean, look at that. That is legit cool. There's still a slight little indention right there, um, but, you know, I'm okay with that. I am perfectly fine with that. But let's do one more little, little tidbit. Let's do that. Make this a little thicker right here. There we go. There we go. Put the lid back on. Yeah, this definitely, and this is uh, 350 grams is what comes in this. I highly recommend wiping off your, uh, your hand Get the UV light. Boom. Wow, that is that is so impressive. This is a little thicker. This is a little bit more chunky, uh, this particular application here, because I wanted just to gob it up a little bit. And I'm not using a very uh, coarse uh, sandpaper. You can definitely sand it down a lot quicker, but... Uh, 
I just wanted to see how this actually uh, played out. I'm impressed with this product. I am very impressed. I can actually see this being good for uh, when you do uh, PLA uh, helmets and you have pieces that you put together. Um, yeah, I can definitely see once you put glue them together, put this on there to fill some lines on the inside to make it a little stronger. But uh, yeah, right there. Fill the holes up. All right, let's do some more. Let's do some more of these, uh, these holes here. Get these bad boys uh, filled up. Boom. So I'm going to do this a little uh, different here. I'm just actually going to uh, plop it in the hole and basically just, uh, just cover the hole up. Definitely will need uh, more because, like I said, this, this actually goes down in the hole. So you uh, put your some on there. Boom. Got a couple of holes there. You got to have your drain holes. When you hollow uh, resin out, you got to have your drain holes. All right. I think we're good on that first round. Get the, get the light on. Here we go. Boom. All right. Lights off. I'm going to do this in the sand in a little different. Look at that. Dry to the touch. It's not even sticky. And with this being a flat piece, a whole lot easier to sand. Wow. You can see how it's filling in the holes great. And just so you know, I do have a fan blowing, so any particulates are blowing away from me right here. I really need to have a dust mask on, uh, but to be honest with you, I, I forgot it. Got a little box down here. Shake the dust off. Wow, a little bit more. Yeah, this is definitely uh, really awesome stuff. Definitely makes this work so much easier. Look at that. Wow. And I could really knock this uh, uh, down a little bit uh, with my, my palm center. And I may do that because I actually did have a little bit of an imperfection right here. So I could actually, I think I could actually uh, fix that. I think I can, and we're gonna give it a shot. We'll see if we can. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see here, we need some tape. So let's get some tape out. This, it is hard to get tape off when you got rubber gloves on, just saying. So what I'm thinking is, is maybe I could build like a, a dam right here, come around like so. Yeah. Oh, this, I think this, I think this is going to work. So what I did was I made a little uh, dam right there. Okay. It may work. It may not. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Might as well go ahead and put some more right here. I'm going to run my finger over that. Seal it up nice and tight. So there's the dam. Boom. But 
foam. Now let's see if the tape comes off. Look at there. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's not perfect, but hey, we've got it uh, flattened out. Wow. That's impressive. That's very impressive. Cool. So I'm going to sand this off with my uh, uh, palm sander. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, this pr some of the things that I'm going to use with this product. I'm going to go ahead and finish globbing some on these holes here. And then uh, when I get my palm sander out later, I can just take this whole thing down. But at least these holes will be full. And I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Then we'll move on to the gauntlet and what I'm going to use it for that. All right. Let's fire the lamp up. There we go. Boom. Done. I just can't get over I just can't get over this. I mean, look at this. It's literally... Just, I mean, it solidifies instantly when that UV hits it. Less than 10 seconds, but uh, yeah, there we go. Put this piece aside. Let me clean up my mess a little bit. Got my little, like I said, got my little box down here. Uh, silicone mat, definitely a plus. I definitely recommend having a silicone mat. They, uh, they're great. All right, so another part of my gauntlet uh, that I wanted to use this on is right here on this, this seam edge. Uh, it's, it's a little wonky, nothing, nothing crazy. It's just a little, uh, got, some, got some high spots in it, got some low spots. So I figured, why not? Let's try some on this. So now we're looking at... Um, this paste on PLA prints. So, might help if I actually got this down to where you could see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the excess. Okay, boom. Cover it up, get the light, boom. Lights off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's legit cool right there. Not not perfect, but boom, look at that. That's cool. I can live with that. I can live with that all day long. Got the edge sanded down. Oh yeah, this is... I, I cannot get over how easy this sands. I mean, this sands so well. Very cool. Alright guys, so uh, what we're going to do next, I'm going to show you another way that I finish these things. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do actually involves liquid resin. And uh, with print lines, again, you can sand these out, put filler primer, and that's fine. What I want to do with these gauntlets, I want to make them a little bit more uh, rigid, more solid. So I'm going to actually use some uh, liquid resin, and we're going to go that route. So basically, uh, I have a, a bottle that's you know got about that much left in it, and that's what I use uh, this for. But just take a, a sponge brush, and we're basically just going to brush this on. You can use a chip brush too. Uh, sponge brushes work really good. But I really want to get on these the stress points. And when it comes to I'm not I'm not too worried about 
you know, sanding this inside. Because to be honest with you, I'm going to be putting um, some uh, uh, either soft good or something on the inside here. But I just want to get more, make this thing just a little bit more solid. Now, when you're doing this, you really need to pay attention. You don't want bubbles at all. Uh, this is a relatively small piece, so I can actually do the whole thing. But like this hinge right here, I definitely want to put some, put some right there on that. Just to make it, like I said, just to make it more durable. Put some there. And a little bit more. It doesn't take a lot. Uh, you don't want to glob it on. You want to basically just a really thin coat. And just come over the whole thing very lightly. Get all the, get all of the, uh, bubbles and runs and things like that out of it. Boom. All right, we're going to move our liquid resin over here to get it out of the way. Get our UV light. Now, this is going to be a little bit, this is going to be different than the, uh, the paste because this actually will have a film on it, but you still don't need to... Uh, Keep the light on it for a long period of time. It's pretty instant. Yeah, so that that is hard right now, but I can I can feel a little bit of a residue. So with this, you take some uh, isopropyl alcohol, ninety one percent. Basically, we're gonna put some on a rag. Get that closed up. Come in here. Just give it a wipe. There we go. Boom. That right there is exactly what I wanted. You can see the, the sheen on it. That just made it so much, uh, so much better. So what I'm going to do here on the outside is, again, I want to look at this, this surface here. I'm not too worried. We can do the whole thing, but I'm not going to be worried too much about these little intricacies. I want these sides to, to really, really uh, be structurally more sound. Now, also, too, you can actually put a couple of coats. Uh, the more layers you put on it is when you're really going to get the uh, smoothness. And I'll show you that here as well. A little bit more come down this little crack here again i'm trying to stay away from uh, details i do not want this to really puddle up but i want to get it on this hinge just to make it more basically where it'll last longer i mean we're killing two birds with one stone here we're actually smoothing layer lines and doing a little bit of strengthening as well. Actually, I think a lot of strengthening. If if I had to uh, guess about it, or I feel like there'll be a lot of a uh, lot of strength out of this. Now, I will tell you this: um, this takes a little bit more to sand, which is okay. Nothing wrong with that. And also, I would recommend. Do not do big areas like this. Get the light on. Because you don't want to, you know, you just, you don't want to do too much. So I'm only doing this one half right there. And see, I can already feel how much smoother that is. That is, I love, I love this technique. It's, I mean, a lot of people, when it comes to doing this technique, again, you are using resin. Resin's about 30 bucks a bottle. Um, but you don't have to have, you know, that is so slick right there. You don't have to have, uh, like I said, I, I reuse resin. Uh, and I'll, I'll reuse uh, when I get low on bottles 
I'll definitely uh, use it for other things. Now, this particular side here, it's not uh, fully done yet. Uh, I've not done any kind of sanding on this yet. And you really should, but again, I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to get this resin on here so I could really, really strengthen this up before I actually did my initial hard sanding. Because that way I can come back and do the second coats after that. And like I said, I just wanted to give it as much as I could. And again, some of this stuff I can actually fill in with the resin. So I'm gonna make sure, have some good light so you can see, you can see the actual uh, spots that it might puddle up in cracks and crevices. Okay, get this, come up here, come across, there we go. Boom. This is nice right here. And I want to get this, uh, I want to get this edge as well. Because this is where the actual clamp comes in. Again, this is all to try to make it more structurally sound. That's what all of this is about. Make sure I get the tops. All right. Let's put, a, let's put the light on it. Boom, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over the whole thing. There we go. Nice. Cool. All right, give her a good cleaning. And you know, the, the, one of the things I, I, I wanted to, when it comes to this video and videos like this is, you know, there's so many questions um, that when I first got into, you know, 3D printing and things like that, um, that I had. And honestly, um, it was hard sometimes to find the answers. Uh, it wasn't the fact that the community uh, wasn't helpful. It was the fact of trying to figure out what everything was. And so when I discover little things like this, I, I want to share it, but, uh, boom, that one actually is done. And, and I can already tell uh, a difference in this. So i tell you what we're going to do. Let me get uh, the rest of them done. We'll come back and, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. All right, everybody. So wrapping things up to uh, today's video, and I'm telling you right now, Monocure 3D, this uh, Incredifil, this is cool stuff. Uh, I actually, if you remember, I had some lines right here, and I've actually uh, started filling those in, and this is this is doing a great job. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video, showing you some of my techniques. Especially with the uh, the resin coating, uh, as you can see, I mean it's it's completely dry. I've actually already done some sanding and stuff on it. Uh, I could still feel a little bit, but now I'm actually going to go through and uh, do some filler primer and get these things uh, get these things going. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this has been cool. So let me know in the comments what you thought about this process. Uh, I'm trying to show you guys things the way I personally do it, not saying they're the best way. It's just the way that I do things. So, uh, yeah, Credifil. This is cool. This is cool stuff. Uh, again, this is how it comes. It's a, it's a small container. I don't think I would actually use it for something large, but I do see uh, you could. Don't get me wrong. You could. Um, I mean, if you had some really, really bad spots, boom, uh, that way you're at least not going to, have to throw away, uh, something because it's boogered up in a way that you feel like, ah, oh, man, I wish I could fix it. I definitely, uh, think this is, this is a cool product. So, but yeah, like I said, it comes from Australia, but let me know in the comments what you thought about today's video. Let me know what you think about, uh, the way I do things again. I'm not saying it's the 100% best way to do it. It's just the things that work for me. 
Uh, also, if this is your first time to my channel, if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure to not not turn notifications on. Wow, I'm tongue-tied. That way you'll know when I drop videos, when I do live streams, and anything else related to my channel. Also, click on the more in the description, and you'll see links to not only this, but to my social media. Reach out, give me a chat, we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about. I'm pretty much an open book. And finally, please, always remember, 3D printing and collecting refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.